In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to install and use scripts in PaintShop Pro. If you're not familiar with what a script is, it's an automated mini program that will apply a series of effects or techniques to your image. Scripts are a fast and easy way to transform an ordinary image into something extraordinary, with very little work on your part. An effect that you may not know how to produce, or that would take a long time to create, is done in a matter of seconds by using a script. I'm sure you can imagine how scripts can save you a lot of time and frustration and allow you to transform your photos in a way that you may not have learned as of yet. PaintShop Pro comes with many scripts that you can use, but you can also purchase more to add to your collection. There are scripts to enhance your photos, scripts to add a unique and creative look to your images, as well as scripts to create a special photo project. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an example of each. Now, most scripts that you purchase should be saved in a folder called Scripts Restricted. This folder is located in your Documents folder, subfolder Corel Paint Shop Pro, and then in the version that you're actually running. Here, you'll see the Scripts Restricted folder. However, occasionally certain scripts will need to be saved somewhere else, like the Scripts Trusted folder. It's important to read the README file to know where the script should be saved. Let's get started. The first script that I'm going to show you is in the Color Effects bundle, and it's called Purple. This script will bring out the detail in the image and add a nice warm glow to the subject. The script is free of charge and is located in the Welcome book. So underneath the Help menu, you'll find Welcome. Within the Welcome book, we have a couple of tabs. I've got the Learn tab, where you can access additional tutorials, the Get More tab, and depending on the version of PaintShop Pro you're running, you may also have an Upgrade tab. I'm going to click on the Get More tab, and here you can see I have a drop-down that allows me to filter the various add-ons that come with the application. I'm going to select Scripts, and here we have the ability to purchase new scripts. I'll scroll down, we also have in here scripts that are free of charge. I'm going to click on the purple color tint script. In here, I have the ability to learn more about this particular script and actually install it. Now, as I already have it installed, there's no need to download this again. So I'm just going to close these folders off. To access the script from the file menu, I can go down to scripts and then run. Alternatively, from the view menu, I can go down to toolbars and select Script, or right-click a blank area on your toolbar, go down to Toolbars, and I will select Scripts in here. This opens up my Script toolbar. I can click on the drop-down and go down to my purple script. Select the script, and now I'm going to run the script by clicking on the Run icon. And it really is that simple. Now here's another example of an interesting effect that you can create with a script. The night effect with full moon will allow you to take a landscape image and turn it into a nighttime shot. This script is a bit different in that you're required to place an image in the preset tubes folder and when the script is executed it will pick up the image and place it in your document. Now that I have the script selected I'm simply going to click on the run icon. Now, just to make it look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to do a little bit of editing here. I'll move my moon to where I want it, make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to right-click a blank area. I'll go down to Palettes. I'm going to open up my Layers palette. And in here, I can adjust the opacity of this layer. I like that like that. If I wanted to, I can also do a control C to copy this. I'll do a control V to paste another version of it in. I'm going to move this down here, and this is going to act as a bit of a reflection. And let me adjust the opacity of this layer as well. Set my pan tool, and there we have it. And finally, an example of a fun photo project that you can do with scripts, the film strip script was created by her friend and scrapbooking guru, Carol Aslan, from Creations Cassell. This script will take anywhere from 4 to 12 images and place them into a film strip template. It's a fun way to create a timeline or storyboard of a special event. 
I wanted to show you this script in particular because there are a few differences in the way it works. As I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, it's important that you review the README file if one is included with the script that you've purchased. In this case, the README file tells me that I need to run the script first, then open my images. Also, this script requires your input as it's working. So here's how that looks. I'm going to start by closing off these images from the Windows menu, Close All. From my Scripts toolbar, I'm going to select Film Strip. And I'll run. I'll click OK to this. And we have a couple of dialog boxes that I have to respond to. The first is how many photos do I want to use? In this case, I'm going to use five. I'll click OK. It's asking me what format I'm going to use. For these, I'm going to select horizontal. So I'll put in number three. I'll click OK. And now it's going to go ahead and it's going to create the template for me. And now it's giving me instructions to open the photos that I want to include, activate the film strip image, and then run the script again. So I'll click OK. I'm going to open up the images that I want to use. I'll activate my film strip image. And then I'm going to run the script again. Click yes to this. And now the script will place all the photos into the film strip. And that's all there is to it. Click OK to this. Now, if you want to try using scripts for yourself, PaintShop Pro comes with a collection of free scripts that you can access through the scripts toolbar. And if you want more automation in your workflow, browse the welcome guide to add more useful scripts to your collection. You can also visit learn.corel.com, check out the Discovery Center store to get additional scripts as well. Thanks for watching.